Welcome back once again to the Inspire Getting Started series. In this video, we'll be picking up where we left off and conducting a simple single draw topology optimization on the bike crank that we modeled and analyzed in the previous two videos. Before we get started, make sure to configure the load cases and materials the same as they were in the previous video. If you are unsure of how to do this, refer to the previous video on structural analysis. Additionally, confirm that Optistruct is the selected solver in your preferences. Now, right-click on the part of the bike crank that is not the partitions or the pedal. In the Part Context menu, select Design Space. The Design Space is the part of the model that will be modified in the optimization process. The last thing we need to do before we can optimize our crank is add some constraints. In the Structure ribbon, navigate to the Shape Controls icon and select Draw Directions. Then select Single Draw in the Sub ribbon. Click on the crank. Then, select the X plane. Select the Move tool in the Micro dialog and move the draw plane to the edge opposite the pedal. Note that moving the draw plane to this edge is not strictly necessary, but it helps with visualizing the constraint. In the micro dialog, press the plus or minus button to align the arrows on the draw plane toward the pedal. Also in the micro dialog, select the no holes option. Then, exit the draw direction tool. On the shape controls icon, select symmetry controls. In the sub ribbon, click on the symmetry constraint tool. Click on the crank again and select the Y plane. These draw direction and symmetry constraints tell Inspire to optimize the design by removing material on the side of the crank, keeping the final design symmetrical about the x-axis through the part's center. Now we're ready for optimization. Click the play button below the Optimization Explorer tool to bring up the Run Optimization dialog. Leave Typeset to Topology and select Maximize Stiffness from the Objective drop-down menu. Select 30% for the percent mass target. Set the minimum thickness constraint to 5 mm and the maximum to 10 mm. Before you click Run, make sure the correct load cases are selected. When you're ready, click Run. Once the optimization finishes running, you will be able to view the optimized design. You can adjust the slider in the Shape Explorer to fine-tune the design. Click Compare Results to see how much mass has been trimmed from the original design. The optimization looks great! Keep experimenting with Inspire structural optimization features to see what other results you can achieve. When you're ready, proceed on to video number 5 to learn how to fine-tune and analyze your optimized design with polynerbs. 